I'm Nate Craig and I'm doing the Pandora Comedy Spotlight at Doc's Lab in San Francisco. In my brand new suit, I want to look like a Bond villain. <clears throat> Everybody, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Nate Craig. Give it up. I know what you're thinking. We were expecting Nate to walk on the stage, and now I'm looking at the Mater D from the Bellagio. Uh, you know what? I tried to do something, and now I look like the first man cut from the Bachelorette. And that's, you know what? That's fine. I like blaming my problems on other people. I almost recommend it. If I ever have to write a suicide note, it's gonna start with, first of all. <laughs> first of all, you never threw me a surprise party? <laughs> never one time? You didn't have the time. I wasn't worth your time. Oh, okay. Well, surprise, it's a funeral. I work on a couple different television shows. When those are on break or whatever, I try to book as much road work as I can. Any free time I have, I'm writing. The more I can do that, the better my act will be, and the quicker I develop new material. I need aggressive drivers, aggressive drivers. People with hate in their heart and a couple cups of coffee in them behind the wheels of automobiles. Yeah, as you become a worse person, you will become a better driver. That's the good thing about life. It's either that or as you become a better driver, you will become a worse person. Either way, you're getting places faster. I have one of these on me at all time and also my phone and also a dictaphone and anything that where I have an idea that I think is funny and worth um, maybe revisiting. I try to make a presentation out of uh, momentary dick jokes that I come up with. Stand-up comedy all goes back to just being a jester. Before microphones, before there was television to reference, it was just a all the way human experience. When I see somebody who has that quality about them, like a, like a Brent Weinbach or a Eric Andre. People who like, who can do that are what I like to watch, so that's who I put on the mixtape. I don't know why they're talking about 3D printers. How about we make a 2D printer that functions properly before we start handing over dimensions to the machines that get stuck on crooked paper. Tonight's show was amazing. Everybody was having a good time. They brought me free whiskey. I can't wait to come back, and it was great. <laughs>